England are currently sport for choice when it comes to top class spinners. Piece of balling from James Treadwell. What a super delivery that is from Monty Panasar. What about the next generation? How are the ECB using the latest science and technology to help develop a new breed of international class spin bowlers? Here's Peter Such and Ben Collins to demonstrate. Welcome back to Loughborough, Ben. I know you've been here many times before. Um, today, what we're going to do, we're going to do a biomechanical screening assessment of your bowling action, but we've also got Trackman set up here, and we're going to measure your spin rate on the ball as well, so you get a good idea of where you are, and hopefully at the end of the process, some pointers and ideas of what you need to do to enhance your games. So essentially, these markers are going to be tracked by the motion tracking system uh, and that's all they're going to see. They're not actually going to see you at all, just the reflective markers that we've put on your body. Uh, so that's what we're going to use to analyse your technique. I think the most important thing that you look for in any young spin bowler is the fact that they're actually spinning the ball and spinning the ball hard because um, if you spin the ball hard that gives you all of the things that you want to see in a spin bowler. What it does for you, it gets that drop in the air, it gets the drift in the air, then you get the bounce off the pitch and the break off the pitch. And if all those things are, are there, then it's an indication that the guy's spinning the ball and uh, they've got a good chance of succeeding. We're going to use this unit to assess how many uh, revolutions you get on the ball. How it works, it will just emit a signal like a speed gun would. The signal will bounce back and it will give us numerous readings. So we'll get uh, a speed on the ball, spin rate, where you've released the ball from, how much drift you get in the air. Okay. So we can use that as a benchmark moving forward. Trackman's a, a very good tool for benchmarking talent identification because it's something can actually measure the rate of spin on the ball. So you actually get a definitive number, a measure on it. So you know who's doing what, so you can use it as a coaching aid. There are a lot of other things that go into it in terms of controlling that spin in the air, in terms of the presentation of the seam in the air, and also at the end of the day they've got to land it in the right place as well. Trackman is one of those things that tells you how much you're spinning the ball, so you've got to measure and there's no hiding from it, there's a number there. We have a measure on all the spin bowlers in the country and what they're spinning it at. And generally speaking, the, um, the more successful spin bowlers tend to spin the ball more. You can actually show it to them and they can actually get a grasp on what they perhaps need to do and, uh, and where they sit at the moment. Um, in terms of revs on the track, man, what do you what do you what do you score today? From about 1,700 to 1,900, so I'm quite happy with that. If we were to create a league table of finger spin bowlers, you'd be in the Premier League, mate. So congratulations on that. You actually improved your power of spin, so you've worked on something there. You've still got 400 revs per minute to go to catch up with Swanee, though, because he sort of revs it at about 2,200. But you're on the right track and making great improvement. Up on the screen there, you've got James Treadwell bowling there. Okay. Talk me through any differences that you might see there, OK? When I'm bowling off, I, I seem to fall away. Instead of Treadwell, stays a bit taller. So, so what you're saying is that the posture that you have when you go through the crease is slightly different? Yeah. OK. And um, so an area for improvement for you would be to work on getting that stronger, more upright posture. Any thoughts about what performance benefits that would give you moving forward? Uh, maybe better release position, so it could could lead to more drift on the ball, I suppose. And yeah. more spin, more revs. Absolutely, absolutely. Two key factors there that you'll get just by getting that stronger, more upright posture, and that'll make a big difference to your game. So the ECB have been able to use the latest motion capture technology to help develop the best young spinners in the country. They can work out how much they spin it, and they're able to make minor adjustments to their game to help take them to the next level. Let's hope we don't have to wait too much longer for the next Grand Swan.